Welcome back friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. Uh, again, guys, I am always on the lookout for things that can help us, you know, on our storytelling journey, especially uh, using the Unreal Engine. So I've been using the Unreal Engine for a little bit uh, over maybe two years now. And I'm every turn of the, like, like every other day, I seem to find something incredibly awesome about it, right? So in this, uh, you know, highlight here on the Unreal Engine website, you can see all manners of things that uh, people are using the Unreal Engine for. And you've seen me, you know, share some uh, like videos, highlights about uh, fluid effects, right? Fluid flux, which is a, a fluid uh, asset uh, from imaginary blend. But it, today I came across this video, right? And this is Niagara. And I, for the longest time, I know I've known about Niagara, but I really don't think I'd appreciated how good it is. Because I thought there were other plugins with the market that could do things much better. But then I watched this video, right? There's so many things, cool things about it that as I was, I was watching it, you know, there are films like Phoenix FD, right? And I saw this video right here that reminded me of uh, fluid flux. You know, there are things that, uh, 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 that you can do with uh, Niagara that I, honestly hadn't investigated enough to really know that we already have these things on our hands inside of the Unreal Engine. So this, I guess, next month, I am taking a break right now just from a short film that I've been working on. But uh, after I'm done with this short film, I really want to dig into Niagara and share some of uh, the things that I'm discovering and to see how well I can actually use it to create, you know, uh, my short films. Uh, there's things that we've already been aware of, but something like this, you know, I don't think I'd really thought I could achieve that with that Niagara. And to see this technical, you know, example over here is amazing. Uh, that I definitely want to do some short films with a collusion, like maybe sci-fi movies with a crushing craft or something like that. And there's some things that, you know, we've seen before that, seem to still be looking better like this like right now when i saw this i thought of uh fluid flux because i i thought i and i still think fluid flux is really really good and it's very very efficient in the way it's doing things but i honestly hadn't dug enough into niagara so guys if you are using niagara and you have some cool examples that you want to share please i would love to hear more like what you're using niagara for what tips and uh, techniques that you've come across that uh, would help me along this journey. I want to join you as well, those who have already gone ahead of me, so that we could, I know I can use this to tell my stories, you know, just like uh, other people are using it. And it's it's amazing that this is all inside of the Unreal Engine, because I come from a Maya and 3ds Max background. And so to see some of these things uh, inside of <laughs> a program that is free, is incredible and this is in real time that is what uh, blows my mind that we're still able to use the, the unreal engine to achieve a lot of these things so this video i guess uh, the, i don't know if this was uh, sh uh, shared in april over 2022 but it's amazing that this is possible inside of uh, the Unreal Engine. So I'm going to be doing some digging and I'll share whatever findings uh, I come across and definitely do some demos because I always want to do demos first before uh, you know I do a tutorial because so, I want to show you how I've managed to you know like solve some of the problems that I'm encountering using Niagara. So guys, thank you so much. And thank you so much to the friends who have brought this to my attention. And I'm going to do my best to dig in as much as possible and share with you but this this is really cool right there <laughs> you know this it still doesn't look realistic and that's why i'm curious about how other people are using it but it it shows potential it really does show some potential but this looks amazing i want to be able to try that you know uh, for my short films so thanks so much for joining me again, guys. And I hope that uh, you stay blessed. Uh, dare to dream big. Please don't give up on your dreams as always. I'm always, always, always praying for you. 
may we continue to use uh, this you know engine to tell our stories because it's something that is free to for us so if you you don't know how to use the unreal engine there's a wealth of tutorials out there that you can you know take a look at and get started and I've shared some tutorials on, for example, if you want to do facial animation or mock-up inside of the Unreal Engine uh, with, for example, the Perception Neuron Studio Suit. I've even done some Excel uh, tutorials as well. I, I've not tried Rococo yet. People keep asking me to do that, but uh, eventually I'll be able to do that. But uh, man, the Unreal Engine is awesome. I encourage you guys, if you're a storyteller, if you're a filmmaker, to dive into the Unreal Engine and use it to make to tell your own stories. It's an amazing, amazing platform and you won't regret it. I have never regretted uh, learning the Unreal Engine. It's been, uh, it hasn't been easy. But as more and more people create tutorials like, you know, Foucher Williams, and it, it's incredible what we can do with other, with, as we share the knowledge that we're gathering. And that's what I'm doing. I'm doing my best to share whatever I learn with you through my YouTube channel. And so if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when, you, when I post a new video. Much love to you all. Stay safe. I'm always praying for you. Please dare to dream big. Never, ever give up on your dream. Bye for now. And today, again, I was just uh, sharing uh, this video that I'd come across. The, and this page I came across on the dev.epicgames.com. I'll put the link in the description of this video. So you can take a look at uh, what you can do. 2D gas, 3D gas, 2D liquid, uh, 3D liquid, and shallow water. There's so much that is available in uh, Niagara. So let's continue to, let me, I'll continue to dig. And if you have comments, if you're using it, I would love to hear what you guys, uh, your experience is. Thank you so much and uh, bye for now. See you next time.